The first step to using Process Street is creating your first process document. There are two ways that you can do this. You can either use one of our example documents from the example section and duplicate it. To do that, you'd come into the example section here. You'd find a process that you might want to duplicate, such as employee onboarding, and you can select the drop down menu here and click duplicate. You can also access duplicate from the drop down menu here. Once you've duplicated that process, you can edit it and modify it as you wish. The other way that you can create a new process is from starting by scratch. And to do that, you would click this green plus button here to create your first new process. Once you've created a new process, you can go ahead and edit it and start configuring the process. For this example, we're going to use creating a weekly company newsletter. You can start by naming your process up here. You can also add a description if you wish. And then you're going to go ahead and start adding each step for your process. Each task should be the heading of that particular task, and it should be a fairly simple heading with no detail required because you can add your detail into the content area here. Each task that you create is also going to become a checkable item that somebody's going to be able to complete as they follow through with your instructional process document. The easiest way to get started with a process is to create your skeleton in the form of tasks. That's going to be the high level steps that you know need to get done to complete this process. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in the tasks for creating a newsletter. You can quickly add new tasks by simply pressing the enter key and that will create new tasks in the task area. Once you've added your tasks to the task area, you can go ahead and start adding more detailed content. You can use the content widgets to add text, images, files and video content. As you go through and edit your process template, Process Street automatically saves the work that you're doing. So any tasks that you create, text that you add, images that you upload, etc. are going to automatically be saved as you go. If you accidentally close your browser or click off the process like this and then go back to it and back into edit mode, you will see that all our work has not been lost and has been saved as a draft. Once you're happy with your process template, you can commit your changes by clicking the done button. You can also delete this revision or this draft and remove all the changes that you've made by selecting the delete revision option here. And if you do want to delete individual tasks, the option to do that is here as well. So let's go ahead and click done. Now we've created our first process template. You can see a little bit of information about the process template by clicking on the drop down arrow here to have a look at the activity feed. The activity feed currently shows the person who created the process template and the last person who updated the process template. In the future we're going to have a lot more information here including exactly who's creating and editing what when and the ability to roll back to previous versions of templates as well as seeing what has been updated across the different versions of your templates. You can also duplicate, archive or delete your process templates using the drop down menu up here. Currently the process templates only exist in a linear fashion as in you create step one, step two, step three, step four, and people can follow through in a linear fashion. But we're working closely with a number of our customers to create richer, more advanced process control mechanisms. Things like nested processes, which is, would be a process within a process, process dependencies so that a particular task can only be done when another process is being completed, or a particular task can only be done by a particular individual, such as a manager, needing to do a review or a check off, parallel processes where multiple process jobs are started together, and things like the ability to assign processes to people, assign due dates to processes, and create recurring processes that need to be done every day, every week, every month, etc. These are all features on our roadmap that we are looking to implement. And if these are features that you think would be useful to you, please get in touch and let us know so you can help us prioritize which features we should be making first. But for now, that's all there is to it to creating your first process template.